Here we go! Here we go then. Here is your clue for this week's coding task. Another 400 XP will be available for this. Remember, any tasks that have gone before are gone, even if you do them now. XP is gone, task gone, XP gone. We have learned that robots are mainly used for dull, dangerous or dirty work. Uh, 3Ds of robotics. And a pretty dull thing is mowing the lawn. And there are plenty of robot lawn mowers out there in the world now. There's also plenty of robot hoovers out there in the world. So what I'm going to ask you to do this time is create a lawnmower pattern. I'm not sure that's clear enough, but you see starts down the bottom left and just drives back and forth and back and forth going down your lawn um we're going to use this this is the code uh simulator or the irobot simulator from the people that make the rumba perhaps the world's most popular robotic hoover now you guys are um, smart enough to to first of all use level two you see this down here it says level two you can use these blocks you know how to do this i'm not going to give you all the code i gave you all the code last time uh, and only ask you to modify one bit at the end i'm going to start you off and then we'll um i'll let you finish it so here's your robot in the center so the first thing i want you to do is get it up to the top left corner there's the top left corner so we're first things first we'll move it forwards and i reckon that's I don't know, let's say 70 centimeters there. Hit return, click there, hit go. You see I hit the go arrow there and the command goes green. And, oh, yeah, okay. Well, 70 centimeters will do. It's obviously is right on the edge there. And then I want to get into the corner. Oh, not picking that up very well. Oh, no, I don't want to move first, do I? I want to turn. So I'll just drag this up and I'll put this block underneath. So remember, the blocks work in the order that you that you put them down. So this one, this one, then this one. So we want to turn left. So I'll change that to left and 90 degrees. That's good. I've already put the move block there. Uh, if that's 70, then that's probably 35. So I'll put 35 in there turn and now I can reset it by down on the right hand side on the simulator screen there's the reset and this is at code.irobot.com the simulator so up it goes all right there's the very top of the screen turns left I suppose I could zoom out a little bit I hadn't thought about that Uh, it does. Oh, the canvas is wider than that. Oh, look, it's a square. So, if it was 70 from the centre to the top, it must be 140 across, I reckon. So, let's just move. Let's go 70 over there. Not 370, sir. 70. There we are. Uh, let's reset it. It was down over here, wasn't it? Play. So it's going to go forward. Oh, it zoomed back in again. Oh, well, well, we'll see if it's in that top corner, won't we? Go. Oh, there it is. It's turning left. So it looks to me, if it goes all the way into the end, yes, it does, that the canvas that the robot is on is 140, or it's a square, 140 by 140 centimetres. So now we've got to turn it around. So turn it right around. Oh, come here. So it doesn't matter if it's going to turn right or left because we're going to turn it all the way around a half a circle. So it's 180 degrees. It doesn't matter which way around we go. So there we are. Turned it around. Reset it. Put some music on in the background of this when we do it. Uh, because this is going to be a very dull video, so now it's going to turn left, it's going to go forward, and it's going to go all the way, there we go, and around. Right, so that's the start position, so I want you to go from top left to bottom right, and let me show you one more thing. Now we've positioned it where we want it to go, I'm going to go across here, and I'm going to put the marker down. 
So it's going to start drawing a line now. And, well, we can scroll. So I'm left clicking and moving these. So we know that we can go uh, forward 140, don't we? Not letting me rush in there to get that. Ah, there we are, finally. Computers, eh? 140. There we go. So, let's reset it. And go. So it's going up. It's driving itself up to the top corner. But we're not mowing. Imagine that's the, 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 the mower blades are underneath. We haven't put the mower blades down yet. Or we haven't switched the hoover on. We've just put ours, putting ourselves to the start position. Turn it around. Right, now we'll set the marker down. It'll start drawing a line. And there it goes. So it should go across the screen. So that is the basic idea. Now make it zigzag its way down the screen from left to the right until you finish in the bottom right hand corner. And when you've done that, uh, print screen or take a screen grab of your code or even just write it in a written description in a word document so, and, uh, and send it to me and I will mark it accordingly so dull dangerous dirty make a lawnmower cheers for now